What's up, everybody? Back for another episode of the NIL show uh, here with Stephen and Sean. We're going to chat with a, a really special guest today, somebody you've heard us talk about quite a bit on the show. Uh, in recent times, you probably have seen a lot of things on the news uh, in the NIL um, Twitter sphere. Uh, we're going to be joined by Grace Berger of Indiana Women's Basketball to chat a little bit about uh, some of the recent NIL things she's been uh, going through and and just get some of her reaction to coach wearing her stuff. So really excited to chat with her and uh, and hear some of some of her perspective. This is a big get for us, guys. She's a, she's a stud. She's one of the best players in the country. Um, I remember back when I first joined, I, I was hitting up all kinds of players uh, who were who were playing in March Madness just to see if they would jump on and sign with us. And Grace and I were going back and forth a little bit, and ultimately she decided, ah, I, I just want to focus on basketball. Uh, let's talk after the season. So I said, okay, all right, no worries. And then uh, the season ends, and, and they lost in the tournament at, at a certain point. And then I hit her up and said, hey, great tournament. Just letting you know, we'd still love to have you on. Uh, and so we went back and forth for a couple months and, and then we were able to get Indiana on board. And I think that was obviously the hook to finally get her. So super excited to have her on the pod and be working with her. Uh, and she's just an incredible individual. She's involved with Hoosiers for good and, and all the great stuff that they have going on there. So. It's yeah, awesome. and it, it it is pretty rad. Just you know, I think a lot of this NIL stuff being so new last year, it's cool to see athletes maybe take a beat. You know, sometimes we get a little frustrated by that. We're like, no, we want to give you a good opportunity. But uh, it, it is good to see them take a take a beat in the middle of the season and be like, you know what? I, I think I just kind of want to focus on on ball first uh, and then get started. Now, here she is. Hey, Grace. Thank you for for taking the time. Uh, obviously, it's been really exciting couple weeks here. Uh, working together had some things uh, kind of pop off. So we just wanted to get your perspective a little bit, chat through. Um, wanted to introduce you to Stephen for sure. And you and I have never actually chatted. So um, yeah. really excited to, to have a good conversation here. Yeah, me too. So Grace, Sean was the old SID at Maryland. So he just like He's like security for all NCAA sports. And like whenever news <laughs> breaks, he's like blowing us up. And I get a text. I think, yeah, one of our team goes, uh, the coach, coach we're in at Indiana is, is wearing Grace Berger's shirt. Like it was like this, like, <laughs> was it Thursday night? Thursday yeah, it was night? like, yeah, it was right before our holiday party. That yeah, came Thursday we were like, what is um, happening? This is incredible. Yeah, you were the topic of conversation at our holiday party. I gave a sink. <laughs> um, and they're like, has this ever been done before? And Sean's like, ah, I don't know. I don't think um, so. And, yeah. and we all like had, we all like did a happy dance. Like you could just imagine us all like being like, oh my gosh, um, this is crazy. Did you know that coach was going to wear your sweater? No, I, I had no idea. I was just as surprised as you all were um, when she walked in the locker room. And um, I didn't even know it was allowed for her to wear, you know, one of my kind of NIL sweatshirts. So um I was, you know, definitely, definitely just as shocked as anyone else when she walked in the locker room with that on. Did what? that go ahead? Did Adam. it kind of like throw you off, off, uh, catch you off guard at first? Were you like, wait, like, coach, can you, <laughs> are, can you do that? Are you sure? Like, yeah, it definitely caught me off guard. Um, but I figured if she was wearing it, and you know, all of our staff let her wear it, that it was, it was probably allowed. So, um, but yeah, it was definitely when she was talking through the pregame, um, it was a little distracting to have, you know, <laughs> yeah. my sticker on her shirt for sure. You're staring at yourself. Did you, did you think yeah. that she might like take it off during the game and it was just a pregame thing or were you like, oh, she's doing this for the whole game? Oh yeah. She made it clear as soon as she walked in that That's she was awesome. doing it for the whole game. So, um, yeah, it was definitely, you know, pretty cool for me. What, how, what was the team's reaction to it? So this is like the first time, at least we think a coach has done this in NCAA history. I mean, and I also knew, so you are paving new ground. Uh, what did the team think? What was their response to it? Um, they all got, got super excited um, for about 30 seconds. And then we were like, okay, we have to focus now. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, they all thought it was super, super cool. And um, yeah, just, just really special that she was doing it for me. I think it, it, like you said, it's, it's, it's such a neat thing. You know, we chatted with Andy Wittry at on three and you did as well. And he did some research and fairly confident. This is the first time ever. And, and a lot of people have questions around like, Oh, that's such a, uh, a, a polarizing thing. And Oh, people are going to react poorly. And I think it's just such a, a, a good demonstration of, 
I don't know, coaches support of you and the team and and having everybody on board. Um, but I, I love what you said is like, yeah, it was cool for 30 seconds. And it's like, we, we, we still got a, a game to win in a, in a game to, uh, to focus on here. So I, I don't know. I think the biggest question everybody has is like, how much of a distraction is it to you guys in the locker room or, or is it truly just like, yeah, okay, whatever. We got a game. It's a shirt. Move on. Yeah. I, I don't really think in this situation it was, it was much of a distraction. Um, you know, obviously she wasn't just playing favorites or anything like that. She had, um, a really meaningful reason um, behind wearing it just to show that she has my back and my team has my back 100%. Um, kind of my recovery process. So, um, I don't, you know, think any of my teammates looked at it like that. They were all just super happy for me, um, and wanted to show support for me. So, um, yeah, I mean, I just thought it was a great thing and nothing that, you know, caused any trouble at all. That's awesome. Yeah, we we agree. Uh, <laughs> so, Grace, we, yeah, we get a lot of like people like, oh, the shirts are just, you know, they should focus on playing basketball. Like, don't distract them with their merch stuff. And it's like, come on, their T-shirts. It's it's you got to have a little bit of fun. Right. Um, right. OK, after the game, coach went on the press conference. Uh, reporters asked her about it. Um, then talk about what happened. Cause we, I think, did we launch it again that night or something? Do you remember as soon as, yeah. As soon as we saw uh coach wearing it, we were like, Hey, we gotta, we, we gotta come right behind grace and, and get this back up. So yeah. Talk to us through after the game, kind of the impact there. Yeah. Well, at first, um, you know, after the game, I, I, I knew that my shirt had, had gone offline off sales. So, um, it was no longer available. So I was kind of like, it probably won't, you know, obviously there's no way for people to buy it. But then I had seen, I think the next morning that, um, you know, it had been put back up and then I think sales kind of skyrocketed. It had a good initial, you know, reaction and a couple of my fans and family members obviously bought it, um, in support of me. But I think, uh, you know, coach Moore and wearing it, um, at any game, but especially a game against two, you know, top six teams in the country on national television, um, and then obviously we put it on, you know, our accounts, um, Indiana women's basketball, Twitter and, and Instagram accounts. So I think it just kind of, kind of skyrocketed. I got a lot of people asking me where I can buy it, different things like that. And I think, you know, sales just kind of took off from there. So, um, it wasn't necessarily anything I expected initially, but, um, once I kind of saw the buzz that it was getting on social media, it was, you know, kind of nice to see um, sales, you know, follow with, with skyrocketing. I think one of the things we love about working with Indiana is just is the support all over the place the fans are when it comes to NIO. Yeah, the fans are I'm amazing. Your, your, fan, support staff, fans are nuts. Is, your support staff's incredible, um, interactive on social. Obviously, what your coach did, uh, a first in the history of NIO. Um can you just speak to that support that you feel from the staff, but also from from Indiana basketball fans in general for the women's game? It's pretty special. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, when NIL first came out, a lot of people were talking about how it would, male athletes would have the advantage. A lot of people would be focusing on, on male athletes, you know, and so just kind of prove that um, women's sports at IU and women's sports in general have, have a following, have a really good fan base um, that you can kind of market to. Um, I think that's kind of been the the most special thing for me out of this whole whole process just to see how how much support we as female athletes at Indiana um you know whether that's from you all initially you know taking a chance and, and making gear for female athletes making us a priority um and then see the reaction from the fans across the state across the community um Obviously, we see that at, at games. We we have a great following. We have great support. But to kind of see it across social media, and then obviously, people supporting me through through my NIL, buying my gear. Um, it, it's something as a female athlete that that's really special. Kind of proving people wrong that um, it's not just male athletes that, that garner attention from from the public, but it's uh, female athletes too. Grace, we uh, we're backed by Mark Cuban, so we get to talk to him every so often. And so <laughs> that night, I was like, Sean email this to Mark right away. Um, and so he responded back. He's like, cool. Um, so he was super stoked about it too. And that, that was part of his message to us is NIL is way bigger than men's basketball and football. Um, mm -hmm. Could you talk to us about like NIL has been around now for a year and call it six months. Has it gotten, is it like, what was it like then versus what is it now? If I were to make a TikTok of NIL day one versus NIL 16, 18 months later, what is that like for you? Um, yeah. What is it like for you as a student and stuff like from your experience? Um, I mean, I think the first year just from my personal experience was um, a lot of unknowns and I was kind of hesitant 
um, especially because it was really kind of taking off once our season was starting. And obviously basketball is a priority for me. So I wanted to focus on that, focus on, on um, you know, on the court stuff. And I know Sean had reached out to me at the <laughs> end of last year and yeah. I was just a little hesitant. Like, yeah, it's okay. it, it takes a lot to say no. I mean, I will say that to be like, nope, <laughs> basketball is my focus. And that's, no, that's why I'm respect. asking you, like, what yeah. was that like? So were you getting hit up a ton early on? Um, yeah, I was, um, a good amount. And I think it kind of picked up as the year went on. And obviously once, you know, my team started having success. Um, but I think my, my initial hesitancy, especially, you know, at the end of the season was, you know, taking attention away from my team, um, and, and really, you know, highlighting myself on my own accounts that that's something that I had never done before and made me nervous, quite frankly. But mm-hmm. I think, you know, as NIL continued to grow and as I saw other athletes using it, um, I realized that it wasn't, you know, a selfish thing. It was really a way to promote um, my team as a whole um, through the, you know, selling of my gear that might have my face on it. But, um, you know, it's just a way to empower female athletes and really use it um, as a, as a, you know, advantage to myself and my teammates. So, um, at first I was definitely hesitant, but I think as I continued to, um, you know, read into it and see other teams, other athletes using it is a way that, you know, is something that really excited me. Um, and that I realized wasn't really a selfish thing. Um, and that was really benefiting, um, more than just myself. Grace, to, to follow up with that, um, we obviously work with IU pretty closely and, and Becky and, you know, the, the NIL office and, um, a lot of the, the Hoosiers for Good team. What what's it like to work now as a student? We we say we think I you know I'm seven years graduated, eight years graduated from college. Adam's a little older than me, so I think that like <laughs> NIL is like this internship kind of feel. What does the school do for you, or like what are the resources? What is their messaging when they like tell you all, hey, we've got this NIL stuff going on? Um, it looks like it's working, but I'm just curious to hear from your perspective. What is, you know, like, yeah, if you, if you could talk a little bit about what that experience is like as a student actually going to IU and the resources that they provide for you. Um, IU has, has been great. Um, even before the NIL was passed, we had meetings, you know, with the athletic department, with the athletic director um, about what that means, what their plan was for us. And I know they've hired, um, a lot of people that are just focused on NIL and maximizing our opportunities and how we can kind of use that to our advantage. Um, so um, I think they've definitely been ahead of the curve. They've definitely been um, educating us since day one and providing us with all the resources that we possibly need um, to, to take advantage of that. And so I think that's been something that's been really cool to see um, because obviously, you know, NIL is new for all of us. So to see them um, kind of be so willing to change to benefit the athletes. It just, um, I think, shows what, what you know, great um, opportunities exist at IU and how great of people are and um, work there and that they really put the athletes first. You're, Grace, you're uh, a certified bucket, as they say. So uh, <laughs> lots of exciting things, you know, coming for you in the future at, at Indiana and in and, and your career for sure. What what do you think is next for you at, at the Indiana store? Any, any, any fun things cooking? Um, I mean, I think, especially as, as my team continues to have success, hopefully we'll have some, some special moments throughout the, um, throughout the season that we can kind of highlight. And obviously our fans will be really excited about it. Um, and so, you know, we'll see, we're still early in the season, but hopefully we have, you know, some championships and and some rings, um, (laughs) being earned, um, later down the road. So I, I think that would be something that's pretty cool. Well, well, there's one thing we can guarantee we'll be ready to capitalize on the moment, just like uh, when Coach Moore and Warrior merch. We're ready. Uh, it's all about capitalizing on the moments, and uh, we know Indiana women's basketball have many more moments this season, so we're pumped. We're ready. Grace, I got like one more question for you because I just I I talked to some of the, I talked to a lot of the athletes in Illinois, and I frankly don't I need to talk to more athletes outside of Illinois. Um, <laughs> When you see sales going off, are you checking it on your phone? Like, are you, does that get you excited? You know, I, I sold merch in college for frat parties. So it was a little different. (laughs) Um, and like, kind of like your, you know, little five unofficial St. Patrick's day events for you. When you see, do you, do you see that stuff on your phone? Do you like getting the notifications? What's that like for you as a young adult making money in your career? Yeah, I mean, um, I'd be lying if, you know, I said it, it wasn't super cool, obviously, to, to make money off of um, 
something with your face on it. Obviously, I've worked really hard to get to this point. So just to, um, you know, be rewarded um, kind of financially um, is, is something that's super cool and kind of um, capitalize off of that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I initially I hadn't really been checking. I think I checked um, to see kind of what the initial response was when it first got released a couple months ago. And then um, obviously I was seeing all this stuff on social media when Coach Morin wore it. So um, I was just kind of checking out of curiosity and it, you know, skyrocketed. So I've checked <laughs> a couple months since and it's, um, you know, obviously, you know, been, been super cool. So, um, I definitely keep up with it, uh, every once in a while. And, um, it's something that, you know, is really like special to me whenever, um, people obviously invest in me and want to wear my gear. Yeah, that's amazing. And, and I think what we've seen, cause I see it on the production side, um, we're seeing fans coming and buy, you know, Grace Berger, sure. And then they're getting another player, sure. And it's really cool. What's do, do fans like tag your stuff? Do you see it on your, on your socials? Like, do you interact with them? What's that like? Um, like if, do they send you pics of, of them wearing it? What's that like for you? Yeah, I've definitely got, um, some pictures of, of fans and, um, you know, people I, I know wearing it and supporting me. But I think the coolest thing for me is, um, you know, when we when we go to games, even when we're on the road sometimes, and I look up in the stands and um, someone's either wearing, you know, my jersey or, or somebody else's um, from Campus Inc. Um, on my team. So it's, it's, it's really cool. I think whenever you look up in the crowd, that's something that has never hmm. obviously really been experienced um, for myself and, and for my teammates at IU. So, um, you know, anytime you can look up there and see either my shirt or somebody else's in the crowd, um, it's something that's um, a really, you know, cool experience. I think Sweet. that's such a, exactly what you said is such a special and important piece of this, this new NIL era is it's something that's never, you've never been able to have that experience before, you know, being on the court, looking up and seeing, you know, people very clearly supporting you behind you, you know, cheering you on, not just with, you know, their voices and, and all that kind of stuff, but, but their actual support. So, uh, that's really rad. I love hearing that. Mm -hmm. It is. Absolutely. Grace, thank you so, so, so much. Wishing you a, a speedy recovery and, uh, and hope everything goes well with the semester. And uh, yeah, we'll be sure to tag you when we publish this. And uh, this will be awesome. I'm sure this will get a lot of We're rooting for you guys. Awesome. Thank you all for having me. Thanks, right. Grace. Thanks, Take Grace. Care. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that is a, a lot of the things that Grace just talked about are wonderful to hear from a confirmation standpoint, right? A, a lot of what she mentioned around feeling the support of the fans, having it impact her and, and, and be a positive force in the locker room. That's, you know, what we hope for when, when we're signing these athletes, when we're designing the merch, when we're pushing out limited drops. Um, really cool to hear that, you know, we, we say this internally a lot when we get those little, you know, glimpses of it's working. Love hearing it directly from a student athlete. I think Grace is incredibly humble. Oh, for sure. You can tell. Like, even though she's like, yeah, my face is on it, but it's supporting the team. And I think uh, sometimes like NIL could be like looked at as a selfish thing. That is a living example of how selfless and how yeah. humble athletes are when she gets just as excited if she sees one of her teammates shirts in the stands. Mm -hmm. um, her teammates are rooting for her. Um, and we even see that you know, I see that a lot at Illinois where, um, you know, uh, like Chase Brown was wearing Tommy DeVito's jersey when we walked through the tunnel, like we walked through. Yeah. They were giving away gifts at Walmart yesterday and Sydney, Chase's brother, was wearing Chase's merch. So you see it all over the place. And so that's, these are the secondary effects of NIL that we are just starting to learn about. And I think that's super special. The other thing that I thought was interesting was Grace has a good head on her shoulders to say, now's not the right time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll revisit it. And obviously that's not always the answer we want, but I have to highlight a young adult. That's a hard life skill to say no to the shiny object right there. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I thought that was super, super cool. And it and, really and speaks the, to, sorry, Adam, it really speaks to, I think that that's an older player who has spent years in college without NIL. And so mm -hmm. everything is about the team, selflessness, not about making money. Like you've sacrificed all that stuff. And so it's a weird perspective change once you're a senior in college and you're like, oh, um, I can help myself uh, individually, but 
also the perspective that she has where she's like, no, I am, I'm helping out the entire team. I'm helping our entire team get notoriety. Uh, just so mature. But I do think as you see these younger players come up, these seniors in high school becoming freshmen in college, where it's going to be much more normal. Um, and and it, I think NIL will continue to evolve as, as these players come through the ranks. Yeah, I was going to uh, agree basically with that perspective, Shauna. It's yeah. it's incredibly mature to not just say no, not yet. Now it's not the right time, like you said, Stephen, but also to recognize as a leader on the team um, a little bit of the responsibility of maybe, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily want to be in this position and maybe I'm a little bit, you know, un- uncomfortable, but recognize how so the cool. moment can impact the program. And that's it's pretty rad. All right, everybody. Uh, that has been another episode of the NIL show. I am Adam Cook here with Stephen, Sean Ellenby, special guest Grace Berger. Another great conversation wrapped up. We will talk to you next time.